Central Florida may be best known for its theme parks in the Space Coast, but we know there is a whole lot more to this area that we all call home. Much more. It's not just about what is here, but the people and cultures who make up this community. News 6 is joining the celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, which dates all the way back to President Lyndon B. Johnson's administration. Tonight, our Carolina Cardona shows us the impact of the Puerto Rican community here in Central Florida. Central Florida is home to a melting pot of Hispanic and Latino communities. Restaurants and businesses have become a staple here, specifically those owned by Puerto Ricans. The Puerto Rican population in Central Florida is, is huge and continues to grow. A population Dr. Luis Martinez, a history professor at UCF, says began in the 1970s. Part of it had to do with veterans who were retiring and moved to this area. Another factor was a real estate company, which introduced Central Florida as a place where they could thrive and build a home right next to Disney World. In the 70s and into the 80s, uh, had some very aggressive marketing, not just in Puerto Rico, but also in New York City, where the largest concentration of Puerto Ricans still is. In Central Florida, Orlando and Kissimmee are where most Puerto Ricans have established themselves, making up a large part of its economic growth. You have business owners who have expanded or relocated to Central Florida. You have people who have relocated without really having a job, but well prepared, educated, and they've been able to excel by establishing their own businesses. Conrad Santiago is one of the co-founders of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and board member of Prospera, a nonprofit that helps Latinos with entrepreneurship. Puerto Rico is well known for the arts, food, and we have seen their contributions you know, to the community throughout the years in different aspects. In 2019, 39% of Prospera's clients were Puerto Ricans. How those businesses from the start, they have evolved, developed, you know, and been successful. Immigrants in general, bring a strong work ethic because we, we, we have to fight harder to reach positions of authority. There's certain aspects that, that we also bring to the table, such as a sense of community, which is stronger, a, a sense of the family, which goes beyond the, the basic uh, unit of parents and children. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona, News 6. So we now have several stories about Hispanics and their contributions to our community and country right now on our website. We will also add that throughout Hispanic Heritage Month on clickorlando.com slash Hispanic Heritage.